Hello and good evening once again fellow racers. We are back here with the Aero League Racing's Tier 1 drivers in the GT7 Championship. This is round 3, season 13. So coming into round 3, we've actually got changes at the top of the table. So BX Royal actually manages to take the lead at the top of the table. He's got 60 points at the moment. Javi is behind him in 2nd place with 57 points. Kep is in third place with 53. We've got Owen in fourth. Owen's dropped to fourth now. He's on 50 points. Zico there in fifth with 43. We have CMP in sixth with 38. Bosworth is in seventh with 35. We've got Jack in eighth with 25. Fatban is ninth with 24. Capel tenth with 20. Slim is in 11th with 18. Big Beaver 12th with 17. Gilles is in 13th with 16 points, Skinzy 14th with 5 points, and Dude is in 15th with 2 points. Now you may have seen some different names there on the leaderboard. I wish that the names would actually tally up with what the drivers use during the race. As you can see, we got a few different, I think. Oh, I've just lost the standings again. So I think Ramos... I think Ramos is Javi or Yavi. Uh, then we have Coldman. Coldman, was he even on the list? Some of the uh, usernames not actually tallying up, but we'll bear with it. So we join the guys here in practice. We're waiting for practice to get underway. Qualifying will begin at 8 o'clock, as always. I'm your boy Vexed. It's, it's Vex Man here to take you through proceedings once again. Hopefully we get a good turnout for the books tonight. We've had quite a few returning viewers on the streams. So hopefully we get some decent numbers once again. So Coldman running a different livery this week. Hopefully that'll uh, be a bit of a good luck charm for him. He had a bit of a shock, didn't he, last week around the mountain. I think his second, I think the second race, actually, I think the feature race went a little bit better than the first one did, but the first one, he didn't pick up too many points in. Welcome along, viewers. Um, if you've just missed the rundown through the standings, then you'll have to go back and watch the start of the, uh, the stream. I will run down through once again before qualifying gets underway. In fact, should we do it quickly now just for the people that have just arrived? So, as I said, we got BX now. He's at the top of the table now with 60 points. Yavi in second place with 57. Kep is in third with 53. Owen fourth. He's dropped to fourth now with 50 points. Zico in fifth with 43. CMP is sixth with 38. We have Bosworth in 7th with 35. Jack is in 8th with 25. We've got Fatband 9th, 24. Capel in 10th with 20 points. Slim is in 11th with 18. Big Beaver, I'm not even sure who that is, in 12th with 17. Gilles is there in 13th with 16 points. Skinzy in 14th with 5. And the Dude in 15th with 2 points. And a team standing so far, Corvette is at the leader of the team standings. With 98 points, we've got the BMW boys rounding up second place with 92 points. Toyota FT1 is in third place with 75. We've got a Nissan GTR in fourth place with 59 points. The Lexus boys in fifth with 53. Aston Martin takes that sixth slot with 37 points. The Suzuki BGT in seventh place with 24. Ford Spec 2, or well, the Ford GT Spec 2 with 18 points. The Mercedes AMG 20 with seven points and Porsche picking up zero points so far this season. So we are here tonight at St. Croissant, St. Croix B, reverse I believe it is as well. The reverse layout which could cause some uh, some shenanigans. So we've actually got a few stand-ins it looks like this evening, there's a few names that I don't recognise on the grid. Um, we'll have a quick rundown, so Alan, obviously we know Alan don't we, we know Kep, we know Ben. More Veloz, I have seen that name before, I do recognise it, I'm not sure where I've seen it before. 
uh, possibly in Aero League Racing. Perhaps he's been promoted or perhaps just standing in this evening. So non-maniac or non-maniac. Another name that I've not seen yet. He's obviously standing in for one of the uh, BMW drivers. He's there in the M6. Possibly making a debut. Not entirely certain. Ramos. Is Ramos going to be able to keep up his pace that he's shown so far this season in that M6? Very good all-round car. Very fast driver as well. CMP there. We know CMP. We have Capel, Gilles, a Bosnian Knight. That's another one that I don't recognise. So Bosnian Knight, maybe he is uh, making a debut this evening. BX, obviously we know BX. He hosts the lobby. Owen. We know Owen, we know Coleman, and we know Zico. So yeah, as I say, a couple of faces that we don't recognise this evening. And as you probably gathered from reading out the standings, some of the guys' usernames not actually lining up with what their names are in the standings, so that makes it a little bit confusing for me. Possibly for the viewers as well, but I imagine most of you guys probably follow the Aero League race in any way, so you probably know who the respect. Oh, we got a little bit of lag there from Alan, so let's hope that's not some lobby issues we're gonna be having to put up with this evening. Let's have a look at Cat. Oh, Cat, Cat looks a little bit sketchy as well. Ben's normally a notable one. Ben looking very smooth though. Not really any lag going on from Ben. Non-maniac looks very stable. Jack. Tiny, tiny bit of a wiggle on there from Jack. Let's hope it's not going to be the theme for the evening. Ooh. Yeah, maybe a couple of little lag spikes here and there. Perhaps it's my connection, you never know. What with streaming and whatnot, perhaps uh, that's what causes some of the lag within the lobbies. I'm not too sure. Obviously, we have had unstable lobbies for a while now. I thought they'd sorted them out, but it is looking a little bit sketchy at the moment. Kept. In that Lexus, you can see there is a definite, definite bit of instability there. And that isn't him, that's not himself, that is within the lobby. But he sets the standard so far in practice with a 2 minutes 7.880. Obviously quite a long lap this one around St. Croisby. I think qualifying will be getting underway very shortly. Ben's just put in the chat there. Can you wait two minutes, please, BX? And we have, in fact, got 15 drivers in the pits. Well, between the pits and on track. So, yeah, we're just waiting for Ben now. I think he's going to uh, have to run off somewhere quickly. Owen, oh, let's hopefully Owen's not had a, D, a DC there. Hopefully he's just got to go and change his oil or something. Maybe where Jack's gone as well. Kep actually picked up his first win last week, so GG's to Kep. He has been looking quick in that Lexus. Very, very good all-round car as well, the Lexus. On par with the M6, in my opinion. Oh, and Ramos. Absolutely blistering lap there from Ramos. Manages to do a 2 minutes 6.352. Let's see if he can do that in qualifying. That was a good lap there, though, from, uh, from Ramos. Yeah, he's going to pull over now. He's going to save himself for qualifying. As I say, this is practice. Qualifying will start shortly. Oh, it was Jack that was going to be right back, not Ben, sorry. Apologies. Ben is now, uh, Jack is now back in. Yeah, we have everybody in the lobby, I believe. Looks like maybe Ramos is going to be setting the standard as we go into qualifying. Kep is going to be very quick as well. He's definitely up there. Alan, he might be a wild card this week. 
in the GT, in the Ford GT. Bosnian Knight also currently sat in fourth place in practice. He's just pulled over there. He's going to have a bit of a sandwich and a cup of coffee. Definitely won't be having a beer. So we're going to go on board with BX because he always seems to manage to get out before everybody else from the pits. Maybe host privileges. No, I'm, jo I'm joking, BX. I think that is how it works though, isn't it? I think for some reason if you host the lobby, you manage to uh, get out before everybody else. Not too sure why, but... He will surely be finishing his first flying lap before everyone else. Ramos still right on the back of the eggs at the moment. He's going to be wanting a bit of space though. They don't want to be getting too congested. Coming into their first flying lap. Obviously quite a long lap around here. Around St. Quaison. So BX is going to be trying to put that Corvette through his paces. We haven't seen what his pace is like. We didn't get to see him put a lap in in practice. So this will be the first time we get to see him do a lap. Will he be on par with Ramos? Ramos has had blistering pace all season so far. Obviously only four races we've had so far, but doing really well at the moment. I do believe that is him sat in second place. In the standings. So we will have a quick rundown and let you know who is on the grid before they start their first flying lap. So BX obviously is there. We've got Ramos, we've got Gilles, Zico, Owen, Mortal Veloz, Keblero GT or Kep, Capel, we have Ben, we've got Non Maniac, Alan, Coleman, Bosnian Knight, CMP and Jack. So BX. First flying lap of the evening. What can he do as he comes down into turn one? It's going to be hard breaking down to second gear, maybe no, actually down to third and then back straight up to fourth. But he's gone slightly wide there. I think he may have just tapped the barrier ever so slightly. It doesn't look like he's dulled his momentum much though, does it? Looks like he's carried some amazing speed through that turn. Sweeping right hander. I wonder if uh, maybe this track is going to catch a few people out this evening. There is a lot of grass around. If you drift out onto that grass, you will surely be sent flying or sent spinning into the shadow realm. So, just through the first sector, now into sector two. No, that's sector three. Approaching the split for sector three now. 116.665 there for BX. As I say, if you've just joined, this is qualifying now. We're under qualifying conditions, so the guys are trying to get in their best laps before the sprint race, which, as always, is a 15 minute sprint followed by a 40 minute feature endurance race oh, look like we had a spinner in the background there so BX is now approaching the final turn it looks like Ramos has really closed that gap as well towards the end of BX's lap there so maybe he's going to be picking up the advantage of that slipstream not too sure I think he's going to be hoping to maybe benefit off of it so BX puts in a 2 minute 6.927 only 600 slower than Ramos Ramos currently on provisional pole with a 2 minute 6.865 Kep goes to provisional third with a 2 minute 7.181 we have Mortal Veloz currently sat in 4th place beyond his teammate Kep he's done a 
Owen currently sat in fifth. No, he's just dropped down to sixth now. Allen's managed to go faster. He's up to fifth place with a 208.091. And in fact, no, he's been dropped down as well as Jack manages to move up to fourth with a two minutes 8.064. So we've got Erin currently sat in provisional seventh. Capel, provisional eighth. Two minutes 8.673. Not sure what's happened to Capel there. Going very slow indeed. Perhaps he's just trying to stay out of the way of the other guys. No maniac or no maniac. Currently. Provisional 9th with a 208.914. He's actually gone three temps quicker through that split, so may be able to improve this time round. Bosnian Knight actually 11 seconds off the pace at the moment with a 2 minutes 20.091. Ben, 4 second, 4.3 seconds off him with 2 minutes 24.420. I don't think Ben got a clean lap in though, did he? May have been one of the spinners. Zico, Zico, uncharacteristically, all the way down in 12th place I'm over 231.976 maybe trying to warm them tyres up CMP as well CMP picks up a 2 second penalty that isn't going to help his qualifying efforts currently provisional 13 Gilles still yet to put in a lap he's sat in 14th at the moment and Coleman in 15th so nobody's managed to topple Ramos hello, there. hello 404 welcome back mate not seen you for a long time Good to have you on board, buddy. I hope you've had a good Monday. As I say, you've now joined Tier 1 in qualifying. I think it's going to be a couple... Of, oh, I thought we may have seen a couple of people enter the pits there to take on a fresh set of softs, and indeed they have. So, BX. Ah, oh, nice one, 404. Well, you're here now anyway, so hopefully we'll have some good racing for you this evening. It has been a crack in the last couple of rounds, round one and two. Yeah, and no, I noticed, buddy. I noticed you haven't raced in months. Are you due back anytime soon? Good to see you back on track. Obviously, I can't at the moment because I can't want to take him for tier one, but I maybe will venture into coming and racing with you guys at some point. Obviously, I do the Sunday F1 League. 404 says at this point I've retired mate <laughs> hey you can't retire buddy you can't hang up your gloves not just yet Paul to Rosberg yeah you'll be back mate you'll be back <sighs> but yeah if my uh, F1 efforts go as they have been so far this season then I shall probably oh maybe do a switch and come into the GT league can't say I'm not enjoying it, I have been enjoying it, but this season so far has been very, yeah, sketchy the last couple of rounds. I'm washed and got a wheel. So, eight minutes with two minutes to go, we'll have a quick rundown through the grid. So, Ramos still currently provisional pole with BX sat in second place. Kep looks like he'll be starting third. More Veloz there in fourth. We got Zico currently provisional fifth. Bosnian Knight is up to sixth. Jack currently still seventh. Oh, uh, 44. Just, just get a practice in, buddy. Ben currently eighth. Alan ninth. Owen tenth. Nomaniac eleventh. Capel 12th, CMP 13th, Gilles 14th and Colburn in 15th. We'll have a quick rundown as the guys finish their last laps as well. See if there's any changes in the standings. I've not really been doing much uh, GT racing to be fair. I've been racing more on F1 recently. Um, I race on a Wednesday night and obviously Sunday with the tier 3 guys. And the last couple of rounds I haven't... Oh, well, I, I actually... The last two rounds. I can't thoroughly race due to my work schedule. Yeah, no, that's fair enough, buddy. That's fair enough. But yeah, I'm not sure what's going on this season, but there's not been a lot of space given on track. There's been a few incidents involving myself and other drivers where they've not been very aware of the cars around them. But with the new uh, the new report in 
fill out a form to put in a report. Brummy Bulldog Racing, good luck. All look forward to start racing with you next weekend. Yeah, welcome along, Bulldog. Welcome along to the stream, buddy. And it'll be in, it'll be good to see you on track. So will you be with the uh, tier one guys, or will you be in another tier? So this is now the final lap. Welcome along, eight viewers. So Ramos still currently provisional pole. Will he be able to beat that time once again? I'm not sure. That is a very good time there from Ramos. 206.865 is the standard. Six hundredths behind him is BX Royal. Currently sat in provisional second place with Kep. Tier 1. Oh, welcome, welcome then, Brummy. Good to have you on board, buddy. So Kep currently two tenths off of BX Royal. We've got more Velos up to fourth place. Behind his teammate there, two temps. Ben only two temps off the back of Veloz. We have Zico one temp off the back of Ben in sixth place. Coldman, he's a hundredth off of Zico, sat in seventh currently. Bosnian Knight down to eighth place now. Jack is there in ninth. Alan is in tenth. Owen eleventh. CMP. Oh, Owen goes up to twelfth or drops to twelfth. Alan goes up to eleventh. CMP 13th, Gilles 14th and Capel 15th. So that may be your grid for the sprint race. It looks like Ramos is going to start on pole. Oh, and Ben. Ben improves to fourth. So there has been a few little changes in the dying stages of this qualifying session. I'll see if I ever come back. But for now, I'm just getting my life together. That's fair enough, 404. Well, it'd be good if you do come back, buddy. It'd be great to see you return. So Ramos, absolutely blistering like that. He does improve. He puts in a 206.865, which puts him four temps ahead of BX Royal in second place. Is BX going to improve? On oh, no, the BX! BX with that pole time! Oh, my days. So BX at the end there of a 2 minutes 6.375. Absolutely blistering pace there from BX. I didn't think he was going to be able to topple Ramos from that pole position, but oh my days. Oh, definitely, buddy, definitely. So the grid, as it stands, we have BX Royal on pole. We've got Ramos in second place. Kep is there in third. We've got Ben fourth. Mortal Velos will start in fifth. We've got Alan in sixth. Zico will start seventh. Owen eighth. Coleman ninth. Bosnian Knight tenth. CMP eleventh. Jack twelfth. Nomaniac thirteenth. Capel fourteenth. And Gilles fifteenth. And the first race of the evening, the sprint race, will get underway very shortly. I think BX may have just been waiting for Capel there. Capel's just put in the chat the, on the left-hand side there that he's ready, so... There we go, we've got the message from BX starting soon. And look how close that grid is. It's a very close grid once again. So I think we're going to be in for some decent racing again this evening. Maybe some shenanigans. Saint Croissant always throws up some shenanigans, doesn't it? As you can see, BX's title there is Bridge, Bridge, Bridge! I digress. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for the lights to illuminate. We have one light, two, three, four, five lights. Yeah, I've been thinking the same 404, but not for racing reasons. So BX, great getaway there from BX. Really, really good start there. Ramos still holds on to that second place. Kep still holding on to third. But Veloz all the way down to sick now. And who was that in the background? Jack. Jack finds himself all the way down in 14th with Nemaniac. All the way down in 15th. What happened there? There were some shenanigans we, we didn't see, obviously, happened in the background. I'm not sure if we had a coming together or if it was just a mistake from one of the drivers. Oh, it's BX! BX! He's made an error! 
BX with a slight error there, he dipped a wheel onto that grass, almost sent the car around, he managed to hold it though, but that gap has come right down now between him and Ramos, Ramos is hot on his heels now in that M6, what can Ramos do, Ramos has been looking rapid hasn't he, we got kept there in third as well, don't write Kep off just yet, Kep got his first win last week so he is looking hungry at the moment. I think this is going to be another shouty commentary edition this week. I think we're going to see a lot of action on track. It's very, very close indeed. You can see that train of cars as they come across the bridge for the first time. I think the only car actually out of position at the moment will be uh, Nomaniac, who is right on the back of the grid. Bit of a gap now between him and the rest of the field. We'll go on board with Ramos quickly. We'll have a quick look at this. Oh, so BX and Ramos have actually managed to stretch their legs away from the rest of the field by 1.2 seconds already. And it's not even the end of the first lap yet. And not many good memories, 404 says about this track. Yeah, it's not one of my favourite as well, I must admit, mate, but you got to throw some wild cards into the calendar. So they come around the final turn for the first time. They'll be starting lap two as they cross the start finish. And that gap between Ramos and BX is very, very consistent indeed. As I say, Ramos has been looking rapid all season. I definitely, I think he's definitely going to be giving BX a run for his money. Yes, I do like Suzuka. Suzuka is one, one of my top tracks. That, and I've got to say it, probably an unpopular opinion, but one of my favourite, all-time favourite tracks is the Nordschleife. I know it's more of a TT track, not really a race track, is it? But what a track indeed! And Man Panorama. I also do enjoy the mountain. So BX has managed to keep that gap consistent. Five tenths. He stretched the two now, so only one tenth. Nice, nice 404. So Kep now 1.6 seconds off the back of Ramos. He has got his workout in this sprint race if he wants to try and try and challenge them top two drivers of BX and Ramos. We've got Alan still there in fourth place. Great start there from Alan. He's being attacked now by Mortal Veloz. Mortal Veloz trying to look, look, make up for lost time now. He lost a few positions, didn't he, off the start? In fact, I think, no, he dropped maybe two so he's made up one already looking to try and retake that fourth position from Alan very very close indeed between these two at the moment maybe one of the closest battles on track he's almost pushing Alan along in that Lexus absolutely cracking stuff here just unable to go for the move at the moment We'll come back to these two. So we've got Veloz in fifth place. We've got Zico sat in sixth with a bit of a gap there to Owen in seventh. CMP eighth. And then we've got a gaggle of cars behind. Coldman heads up this second train in ninth place with Ben in tenth. So Ben, he dropped a few positions, but he's managed to make up a few now. Back up to tenth place. Capel in eleventh. Nemaniac. Nemaniac actually managed to make his way back through once again as well up to twelfth. Jack there in 13. In 14, five seconds off the rest of the field. And Gilles, what happened to Gilles? Gilles all the way down in 15. So no change at the front. BX still holding it strong. Four temps is the gap. So it's stretched to five temps, nearly six temps, but it's come back down to four temps. So maybe, maybe Ramos is on a bit of a charge now. Only five minutes in. So we've still got another ten minutes. Well, nine minutes and change left of this first sprint race. And Ramos actually holding the fastest lap at the moment with a two minutes 6.488. And he's started to close that gap. He has started to close that gap. He's looking hungry. I think we're gonna see a move come in the next couple of corners. We'll have a quick on board as he's chasing BX. 
Oh, and Veloz, Veloz has finally got past Alan. No, and there's changes again in the background. We're going to have to have a look on this. So these two are having a mammoth battle at the moment. So Veloz managed to get past him, but Alan has retaken that position. He's removed back up to fourth place. Veloz still there, though, on the inside. He's looking up the inside. He's not close enough. And the skies have begun to darken. Are we going to get some rain in this race? I'm not too sure. I can't quite remember in the settings whether you can actually get rain at St. Croix, St. Croix, St. Croissant. So Kep still looking strong in third place. We've got Alan and Mortal Veloz having a bit of a battle at the moment. Alan having a cover off the inside early doors. Veloz not quite close enough, close enough this time around to go for a move. So we will continue to work on getting that position. Oh, he's had the better run though. He has had the better run. A very, very good defender though at the moment from Alan. Let's hope that GT, 4 GT doesn't become unstuck. It's looking a little bit sketchy out there at the moment. As we've got Zico, Zico has crept up onto the back of Veloz. Zico now starting to try and challenge Veloz up ahead. Only one tenth in it at the moment. So Veloz unable to find his way past Alan once again and that has brought Zico right up onto his bumper. Oh, what, what, what has happened there? I'm not sure what happened there, but it looks like Zico is going to take two positions as they come onto the bridge. And he has, so Zico now up to fourth place. Alan and Veloz are still side by side, but Veloz looking like he may take that position. Alan's got the inside here though. We also have Owen and CMP waiting in the wings. Veloz well and truly on the rear of Zico once again. He's managed to get that position from Alan, still being challenged though by that Ford GT. Oh, he's having a look at the inside, he's having a nibble. Zico manages to keep that position for the meantime. And Alan managing to hold off Owen. Oh no! Oh, what the? What happened? Veloz! Veloz drops all the way down to the back of the field. He's in 12th place. Rejoins in 12th place. He's got damage on that car. Oh, I'm not sure if there was some contact there. There was definitely contact after the initial slide. I'm not sure if it was contact that made him slide though, or if he just lost the rear of the car. Meanwhile, his teammate still holding on to that third place. Ramos still trying to hold on to BX for dear life. BX are doing really well to control the pace of this race though. And BX actually putting in a purple sector there. Maybe he will take the fastest lap. He's fastest so far, a 2.06.499. Ramos is fastest, a 2.06.488. I think this battle's going to continue to the end. Slowly approaching the 10 minute mark. So Ramos is still giving chase getting the better run it looked like through that last turn as they came off the bridge but BX seems to have found some pace again he's managed to stretch the gap by a couple of attempts there is a 5.3 second gap though back to third place which is Kep Kep looking for some good points here in the sprint then we have Zico Zico at the moment looking like he cemented that fourth position. Will he be able to get onto the back of Kep? We're not too sure just yet, but it looks like he is bringing that time down. Managing to uh, stay away from Alan though. Alan there in fifth place. He was having a great battle, wasn't he, with Veloz? I'm not too sure what happened to Veloz. 
we didn't quite see we just saw sliding going on in the background so Coldman now under pressure from Owen he's trying to get onto the back of his teammate up ahead but Owen looking like oh what a move there from Owen up the inside is Coleman going to be able to retake that position and he has that Ford GT has got some legs on it hasn't it definitely got some pace so Owen back to 7th place still being challenged by Ben and Aston in 8th Nomaniac up to 9th now onto the back of Ben as well will he be able to make up any more positions we've got Capel sat there in 10th place Jack down to 11th Bosnian Knight in 12th Gilles is up to 13th now CMP down in 14th and then Veloz that's unlucky Veloz down in 15th so obviously it is a slightly different reverse grid this season only the top 10 get reversed I believe it is as Ramos Ramos looking strong he's looking like he's going to be looking for a move on BX, BX showing him the long way round. He's not going to get it done there, is he? Maybe going for the switch back. Not quite able to pull it off that time round. But this battle for first place really starting to heat up now. BX has not managed to scamper away into the distance as he has done in previous rounds. Ramos well and truly keeping him honest at the moment. Absolutely neck and neck between these two. What is Ramos going to be able to do? Will he be able to take that first place away from BX? BX defending really well at the moment. Just manages to find that optimum position for his car through the corner. Not allowing a door for Ramos to be able to jump through. Although... As I say that, he almost did. He almost opened it up. Very, very close indeed between these two. So just under two minutes left of this sprint race. And what a sprint race it has been. I think we may have to stay on board with these two guys here. As this is the battle for first place. And what sort of a gap? So 6.8 seconds is the gap between Ramos and third place. But there's only two temps in it between these two at the front. As I say, Ramos has shown absolutely blistering pace all season so far. The M6, an absolute powerhouse. As he almost, almost loses it there on the exit onto the bridge. Very, very, very close on the exit there. Ramos still potting on that pressure. Can he force BX into an error? I think BX is definitely going to be sweating at the moment with how close Ramos is. It looked like he was thinking about a move up the inside, but thought better of it. Is this going to be the final lap? They're approaching the final turn for the seventh time I think I think these two maybe will get through to do one more lap and they do so Keb finishes in third place Zico will take that four we've got Alan there in fifth Colburn in sixth Ben is in 9th, we got Capel finishes in 10th, Jack is 11th, Bosnian Knight 12th, Gilles is going to bring home 13th, CMP 14th, Morvelos will finish in 15th place. And then this battle at the front here is going to go on for one more lap. It looks like BX managing to find pace once again in the final lap. It was two temps, wasn't it, that gap? He stretched it to six. 
So Ramos not under any pressure from third place now. He's he can just concentrate on uh, on BX, trying to take that first place away from him. But has he got the life left in them tyres? Does it like he has? He's definitely got the grip advantage at the moment. Oh, BX very very close to the barrier. Then was BX. We're looking back now towards Ramos, and he does seem to close it up every time on this turn here. But BX seemingly getting the better exit. But Ramos has brought that gap down from six temps to three temps, and it is still coming down as we speak. But they are coming through the final couple of turns now. Will Ramos be able to go for a move towards the end of this lap? I'm not too sure, I think BX may have sewn this one up. And it looks like he has, so BX will take the chequered flag and first place in this first race. Ramos comes home in second place, what a battle between them two at the end there. Obviously Kep was third, Zico fourth, Alan fifth, and you saw the rest of the grid, we went down through it. Well, that was the first race out of the way. Our second race, obviously a reverse grid, but a bit of a different reverse grid this season. Only the top 10 getting reversed. I believe. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm pretty sure uh, Skinzy filled us in last week. And we're missing Skinzy this week. I just realised we are missing Skinzy and we're missing Viking once again. They were present, both of them, in the first round. Well, we definitely saw some cracking battles there, didn't we, on track? And some shenanigans. I'm not sure what happened to Veloz. That's, that's heartbreaking for Veloz. He had such a great start. He was keeping up with his teammate. Somewhat. And then it all came undone. I'm not sure if there was contact. If there was, we didn't see any. Well, we saw the aftermath. Just trying to find the... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so I, I, in fact, I don't actually have access to the tier one chat. So if there was any... Any shenanigans I cannot see. Oh. So we're waiting for a second and final race of the evening. So we can see in the chat there on the left, Nomaniac says CMP23, I'm sorry. So I'm not sure if there was a little bit of contact there between CMP and Nomaniac. I think that may have been early doors. That may have been why we saw Nomaniac towards the back of the grid at the start of lap one. That's strange, we have <laughs> cars sat in the car park and cars sat in the pits. Not sure why some people get to go into the pits and so well Kep's invisible. That's that's a great that's it's gonna be a great look going into the uh, feature race if he stays invisible. Oh Zico's invisible as well. Gilles is invisible, BX isn't invisible. So, looking like everybody may be going for the softs for the first stint, are they? We've seen a few mediums there, Zico's on mediums, we've got Veloz on mediums, the Maniac looking like he's starting on mediums.
I don't know about more bellows, but I am mortally tired at the moment and it is only the start of the week. It doesn't feel like I've just had a weekend. You never know, maybe one day I'll win the lottery and then I can retire early. No more tiredness for vexed. Let's try and join one of the guys that are out on track having a bit of a practice. So Capel going for the softs in the first stint it looks like. Ramos looking to do the same. So Nomaniac looking like he may be one of the guys running the mediums in the first stint. As I touched on before, the tyre rules have slightly changed as well for the season. I think opening up different strategies to some of the guys. I think they could potentially run soft, soft. Whether it make it to the end of the race or not is another matter. So I think softs and mediums probably is still the way to go. Yeah, it looks like everybody back in the pits once again. So I think the feature race is going to get underway ever so shortly in the next minute or so. So here we go. Capel lines up on pole. As I say, a bit of a different reverse grid this season. Only the top 10 get reversed, I believe. which uh, was to try and null some of the sandbagging that went on in previous seasons. But what can Capel do from pole? He's got his teammate to back him up there as well, Ben, sat in second place. So the two Aston Martins at the front of the field at the moment. They probably do well to work together to try and keep the rest of the guys behind them as Coleman loses a position to the Maniac. The Maniac now to fourth place. Coleman is down to fifth. Got any more battles going on? Kep. Oh, Kep looking hungry. Looking like he was going to try and get the move done against Allen. Oh, there's a tiny bit of contact there. Actually forcing Allen slightly out wide. And in fact, getting very congested behind there at the moment. Massive gaggle of cars forming BX all the way up to ninth already. Side by side now with Ramos. Obviously, they're the top two in the standings at the moment. We've got Jack there, ninth place. BX actually down to 10th. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, and contact once again. One of the beamers. Oh, no. Somebody's got absolutely punted. I think it was Cap. He's managed to keep going. His teammates there in 13th. Kep now in 14th, Ramos all the way down in 15th. Shenanigans are plenty. So Capel still holds on to that first place at the moment with Ben behind him in second. I think the stewards maybe are going to have their hands full this evening. So 
So Ben is still covering off his teammate at the moment, trying to keep Owen behind him in that Toyota FT1. Ben having a nibble at the inside, but not quite close enough to get the move to stick. So come around the final turn now, end of lap one. Into lap two. Oh, and Ben, Ben actually loses that place now to Owen. Owen, nice move there, up to second place. Ben still hot on his heels though, I wouldn't write Ben off just yet. Will he be able to retake that second position or is Owen now free to start trying to challenge Ben's teammate up ahead, Capel? Owen again has shown pace so far this season. At the end of the first round, he was actually sat in first place in the standings. It was only, he'd only dropped to fourth place after the second round, so. Where we last week, maybe Mount Panorama didn't quite favour the FT1, but maybe St. Quasson is the track to be, is the place to be. For that FT1 as Ben, Ben keeps looking like he's going to go for a move, trying to set one up, but not quite close enough. Did Capel just hit the barrier? Look like Capel maybe grazing the barrier slightly on the exit of that turn as they come onto the bridge, but it hasn't slowed him down too much. He's still holding that first place, still a 9 tenth gap back to Owen. Then Ben is now 5 tenths off the back of Owen. 4 tenths, so maybe Ben able to retake that second place. Nice bit of breathing space to Coleman behind in fourth. 1.5 seconds is the gap. BX is now up to 7th place. So making moves early on for BX, so Coleman sat there in 4th place, then we have Allen behind him in 5th. Nemaniac in 6th, now being challenged by BX in 7th. Oh, BX looked like he was going to go for a move into the final turn there, but maybe not quite close enough. That M6, a notoriously hard car to pass. Very, very wide car indeed. Nice. Good night, Since Lee. Welcome along, buddy. Nice to have you on board. If it's your first time joining us, obviously this is the Airy League Grayson's Tier 1 drivers. I'm your boy Vex, it is Vex, man. And BX, he does manage to get that move done up the inside. Cements that sixth position. Everybody. Ah, no manic. Yeah, so no manic's doing well at the moment. He's just lost a position down to seventh place. Maybe looking to lose that position to Bosnia Knight as well. Bosnia Knight is going to be up the inside, almost alongside as they come into this turn. And the maniac very, very deep through there indeed. So Bosnia Knight is up to seventh place. The maniac now down to eighth. Can he retake that position though? He's still right on Bosnian's gearbox. In the jet black M6. So Jack sat in 9th place at the moment. Gilles is there in 10th. We've got Zico in 11th place being hunted by Mortal Velos in 12th. Then we have Kep. Kep looking under pressure now from Ramos. Plenty of space given there between them two as Ramos does manage to take that position. Kep now down to 14th place. We saw them both. They both had a spin early doors, didn't they? Kep absolutely punted along the track. I'm not sure who collected him, but that was, that was not a pretty sight at all. I do feel for you both. Hopefully be able to get your heads back into the race. Obviously still early doors in this 40-minute sprint race, uh, endurance race. And CMP, CMP well off the pace at the moment, all the way down in 15th. 
Not sure what happened to CMP. And Owen, Owen is new race leader, so he's managed to take that position away from Ben, and he's going to start trying to stretch his legs now. Can he scamper off into distance, into the sunset? It is getting very dark around the track. Will that tra change the track conditions? Will we see some rain? We'll have to wait and see. There's no need to say sorry uh, since Lee, it's all good buddy. So Owen, still in control of the race at the moment. I'm intrigued to see when the first pits are going to start to come because this is a very heavy tyre wear track, as you can see. The FD1 almost half the way through its rubber, its first set of softs at the moment. Oh, bit of a cut. Oh, he collided with a barrier ever so slightly there on the exit, which has brought Ben right back onto him. Can Ben retake that first place? We're going to have to stay on board with these two for just a second as they duke it out. The gloves are well and truly off in this feature race. Where is BX now? BX now up to 5th place, so he has managed to move up a few positions. Last time we saw, he was in 7th. Now up to 5th for BX. I thought we may have seen a move come from Ben, but Owen has managed to stretch that gap once again to 6 tenths. The gap between Ben and 3rd place. 2.2 seconds though. Coleman being chased down by his teammate Allen in 4th. So the four GT lads having a good outing this evening. I think Mount Panorama just didn't really favour the four GT did it last week, but they're definitely looking like they've got a lot more pace around here, St. Croix. And so Alan is still trying to stick with his teammate. He's got BX breathing down his necks now. Breathing down his neck, should I say. As BX looks for the switch back, oh, almost into Allen's rear bumper there. But he was hard on the brakes. So BX has made up a lot of positions. He's up to fifth place by lap five. absolutely blistering pace on display from BX at the moment Owen still in the first place so Bosnia Knight there in sixth he's going to be trying to pick up some decent points for the Porsche guys this evening Capel there in seventh we got Jack in eighth and then Gilles Gilles under pressure now from the Maniac Gilles is going to hold on to that ninth place is he the Maniac going to try and go around the outside not quite managing to get it done that time round, but he has crept right up onto Gilles' bumper now. Gilles under some pressure. He's going to be having to throw them defensive shapes. What can the Maniac do in the M6? That GTR also quite a hard car to pass. Also a very, very big, big car, big cumbersome car. He's a big boy. And the Maniac almost pushing him through that final turn. Has he got the better exit here, though? Will he have the inside as they come into turn one? We've seen our first pit stop there from Capel. Capel's into the pit's early doors. Will he be able to get the undercut? So the Maniac still not able to take that position away from Gilles. Gilles defending fantastically there. Then we have Zico and Ramos. Zico and Ramos neck and neck at the moment. But Ramos does take that 10th place away from Zico. Zico drops to 11th now. Still well and truly in Ramos's slipstream though. He is under pressure though from Veloz. Will Veloz be able to take that position away from him? He's looked at me inside, Veloz! What a move there from Veloz. Absolutely cracking stuff. A little twitch on the exit. But it didn't cost him too much. 
Zico is definitely pushing him along though now, isn't he? Not much of a gap between them two cars at all. Nine hundredths is the gap. Absolutely blistering stuff from these backfield drivers. Still very, very close indeed. So Kep, a bit of a gap now though to Kep. 3.5 seconds is the gap. He's down in 13th place with CMP. CMP's managed to make his way up to 14th. I'm sure he's going to be heading to the pits ever so shortly though. Capel went for the undercut. He's back out on a fresh set of softs. Is that an amazing strategy call, a genius strategy call there from Capel, or will that be his undoing? We'll have to wait and see. Owen is still holding on to the lead of the race at the moment in that Toyota FT1 with Ben for company there in second place. And is he heading into the pits? So Owen heads into the pits now, as does Ben. So Coldman favours track position. He stays out, becomes new race leader. Everybody else looks like they're diving into the pits. And in fact, no Gilles. Gilles has stayed out. 7.1 seconds is the gap between Coleman and Gilles, though. And Coleman obviously feeling confident around here, around St. Croix this evening. Gilles, Gilles obviously feeling fairly confident as well. He's also going for the overcut. As is Veloz, Veloz also favouring track position. He's definitely got a couple of laps left on them tyres. Definitely enough fuel in that car as well. Nemaniac, Nemaniac has looked after his tyres very well indeed as well as he is now up to fourth place. More Veloz off the track! Oh, he's rejoined. He's not managed to spin it, so that was a great save there from uh, Veloz. Didn't look like he may have had a meeting with Barry, but... He is definitely under pressure now, though, from the Maniac. The Maniac looking up the inside. He's going to get that move, is he? And he does manage to cement that move as they come into this turn here. So up to third place now from the Maniac. Still yet to pit, but he's got, well, he's got quite a few more laps left on them tyres, hasn't he? He's definitely got just under half a tank of fuel as well. So... Yeah, be interesting to see when he pits. 14 and a half minutes in now. So maybe, maybe this is going to be... Whoa. I don't want to say it, I don't like to do the commentator predictions, but I think the Maniac is looking good at the moment. Although he has lost that position now to Veloz, that was a great move there from Veloz. Just had the better momentum, managed to slide back through into third place definitely on worst oh no 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 maniac no 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 oh no maniac that's unlucky dude let's hope he stays ghosted and i think he has he's now down to 10th place zico still yet to pit he's going to be following the other guys in is he so coldman has stayed out for another lap as we see Gilles, Mortoveloz and Zico all into the pits now. Coleman will surely be going in after this lap, won't he? Surely. Surely he can't go another lap on them tyres. 11.4 seconds is the gap he has over Kep though. In second place, Kep has also favoured track position. Definitely got a few more laps on them tyres as well as Kep looking good at the moment he's got Ben for company there in third place Ben is now on a fresh set of soft zone Ben should have the pace advantage and he's looking for the move now is Ben up the inside then neck and neck he's side by side with Kep he will move up into second place momentarily and he's gonna have that cemented as they come through this turn Will Kep get the cut back though? The switch back, no, not that time round. I don't think he's got the grip advantage, to be fair. Yeah, them tyres are definitely looking a little second hand now. So Ben up to second place on a fresh set of tyres. 
Will we see another pit though? Because I'm not sure that fuel is going to take him to the end of the race. So your race leader, Coldman, is right hand tyres, have absolutely left the chat now. The lefts are going to be joining them shortly. This has to be the lap they pit, surely. He's got to be losing too much time on them, very heavily worn softs. And he stayed out. He's actually stayed out for another lap. Coldman. I'm not sure that was the right decision there from Coldman, but he's going for it. 10 out of 10 for bravery there. I think I would have dipped into the pits while, uh, while I had the chance, but... So Ben still holding on to that second place BX and now takes third away from Kep. And Kep stayed out as well. Kep looking to try and retake that third position on them very warm mediums. I don't think he's going to have the grip advantage though, is he? BX only pit a lap or two before though. Look how much he's used to them tyres already. As I say, the tyre deck around here very high anyway, and I think the tyre wear has been increased, increased for the future races this season. But yeah, interesting stuff. Who is that right off the back of the field there? I'm not sure who that is. Is oh, hopefully that's not CMP. That gap is yeah. He may have just written this race off. Oh, and in fact, no, it's the main, the maniac. Oh, the Maniac dude, he, he was having such a great race, wasn't he? I'm not sure what happened, I don't know if he got a little bit too excitable on the loud pedal and just lost the rear, or... All the way down in 15th now. So Coleman, will, he's got to come into the pits now, hasn't he, surely? That gap was around 11 seconds, it's now come down to 6. So he's definitely losing time. So we're just going to still ball with Coleman. I want to see when he comes into the pits. I do believe it is going to be this lap. It has to be this lap, surely. Getting ever so squirrely around the final turn there. And there he goes. Yeah, so he is into the pits now. So Ben. Ben is going to become your new race leader. There he goes. Only eight tenths between him and BX though. Owen not far behind. 2.3 seconds behind for Owen. It's currently sat in third place. So these guys here have all pitted. They went for the undercut. It seems to have worked in their favour at the moment. But BX is well and truly on the charge, isn't he? He's come from the back of the field all the way to second place. It's a 40 minute endurance since Lee. So we're only halfway through, so I believe it's going to be 20 laps. Around 19 or 20 laps. But Ben is well and truly under pressure now. He's going to have to pull out the stops if he wants to try and stretch that gap once again to BX. But BX has been on the charge all evening. Took the win in the sprint race. Will he be able to do the double this evening? No worries since Lee. As I say, nice to see a new face in the uh, in the chat. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. So BX has closed that gap. He has closed that gap. He's going to be looking for that move in the next coming couple of turns. Can he get it done here? He had a look up the inside, but he wasn't quite close enough that time round. He couldn't get that front wheel up the inside, so settles for sitting in the slipstream for the minute I think we're going to see it come through the final turn oh it's Ben Ben out onto the marbles that's allowed BX through what a move there from BX he just bided his time didn't he waited for Ben to make a slight error and that was all it took for BX to be able to slide that Corvette through 
absolutely gripping stuff and it looks like he's oh we stretched that gap already three temps is the gap already can ben stick with him he may be on for some decent points here this evening ben i think we may see another pit stop come from some of these guys i think maybe some of them are going for the two stop So BX has moved up into first place, he's become new race leader, he's had to work for it, oh he's just drifted out onto the grass there. That has allowed Ben to start closing that gap once again. So we'll have a quick rundown through the grids, we've got BX still in first place, we've got Ben there in second, Owen still hold on to third. He's got a nice bit of breathing space to Capel, who is in fourth place. A 5.3 second gap to fourth place. Capel now under pressure from Alan, though, in fifth. Only two temps in it, although Alan did graze the barrier ever so slightly there. And Alan also has... Oh, no, Alan! Bit of, an, bit of a mistake there on the exit of that turn as they approach the bridge well they're coming across the bridge now Ramos manages to move up to fifth place he got caught up in an instant early doors didn't he in the feature but he's kept his head in the game he's now back up to fifth place so having a cracking race or having a cracking recovery race at the moment Ramos Allen now down to sixth we've got Zico in seventh place with Gilles holding on to eighth him and Bosnia Knight still having a cracking battle they were having a battle a few laps before, weren't they? Gilles still manages to hold on to that eighth, does he? Bosnia Knight try as he might, still cannot cement that eighth place. I think he's done it now, though. Gilles is going to have to be careful, though. CMP, CMP's on the hunt as well. Almost free wide there. I think there was a tiny bit of contact there between uh, Bosnia Knight and CMP. I think CMP just slightly running into the back of Bosnia Knight. I couldn't tell you, Brumi, to be honest. I'll have a look at the standings. Um, but if, if his name differs from what is on the standings, then <laughs> your guess is as good as mine, buddy. Some of the guys seemingly run in different names in the standings than they do on their uh, actual names on track. But there you go. Because I... <laughs> We have a fat ban in the standings, and I couldn't tell you who fat ban is on track. So, Mortal Venors in 11th place. Jack is in 12th. We've got Kep in 13th. Coldman, 14th. Nemaniac, 15th. And BX has done it. Oh, he's got the flashing indicator, though. The flashing fuel indicator of death. Will he be going in for a final pit stop? He's got to be, hasn't he, surely? So definitely a two-stop on the cards for some of these guys. I think a majority of the grid actually probably going to be going for a two-stop. Will he decide to take on the mediums for this final stint now? I'm pretty sure that it's probably not worth running softs all the way through. Because you're going to be doing extra pit stops, aren't you? So I think, I think we're going to see some of the guys decide to switch onto the mediums I think the X is actually having a fuel save ever so slightly that gap has come down again hasn't it to three temps oh and yeah so these two both into the pits now Willow and follow him in yes he does Capel, oh, we, we've heard some screeching tyres in the background there, not sure who that was. So Capel's in, Ramos is in, Zico. Zico favours another lap. Bosnian Knight is in, Gilles also, so the two GTRs actually staying out. Zico becomes new race leader. 1.9 seconds is the gap over his teammate Gilles in second place, but they have still yet to pit. 
So this will be the second pit stop for them both. I think they're going to be taking on, well, they'll obviously be taking on a fresh set of tyres, probably be filling that car up once again. We're just over halfway into this 40 minute sprint, uh, 40 minute endurance. I don't know why I keep saying sprint. Mortal Veloz. Up to third place now. He's on a worn set of mediums. Just under half a tank of fuel for him. BX has refilled that car. He's sat in fourth place at the moment. He will surely become race leader once again. Once the top three stop for their second pit stop. He's actually taking the softs. So BX, I fancy, I think he maybe fancies taking the softs to the end of this race. I'm not sure. That's going to be a great strategy call, but... We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Ben there in fifth, 1.4 seconds off the rear of BX. He also has Owen for company. Owen has started to close that gap. Two Ben up ahead. They were having a great battle as well, weren't they? Early on in this race, I think they both led the race for a few laps. I think we've probably had five different race leaders, maybe even six different race leaders so far this race. So Kep now up to seventh. He is not going to be getting to the end of this race on them soft so They will not surely go for another 12 minutes. Got half a tank of fuel, so I don't think he's going to be having a fuel again. But will he have to take on another set of tyres? Gonna have to wait and see. So here we go. This is going to be it. BX is now past Veloz. He's going to become new race leader, and there he goes. So Veloz down to second place now. Ben behind him in third. We've got Owen there in fourth place. Kep is in fifth. We got Coleman in sixth. Ramos is 7th, we got Capel in 8th, Bosnia Knight is 9th, Zico re-emerges in 10th place, his teammate Gilles in 11th, Alan is there in 12th, CMP is in 13th, we got Jack in 14th and the Maniac goes in, currently sat in 15th. Meanwhile, BX scampering off into the distance now. 2.3 seconds is the gap, and Veloz loses that place to Ben. So Veloz on the worn tyres. He's going to be losing that grip advantage to the cars around him, and as I say that, Owen manages to get a move done as well. Is he going to be able to get the move done on Ben, though? It looked like he may have done for a minute. Ben's had to start throwing the defensive shapes. He's going to have to cover off the inside or Owen will surely jump through that door. Two point nine seconds is the gap to the leader BX Royal. So Ben has his work out as do the rest of the guys if they want to topple BX from the top of the standings as I say after the first round, Owen, Owen was actually sat in first place. Coming into round three and he's sat in fourth, but I think that may change again after this round. He's picked up some decent points here tonight. Six tenths is the gap between Owen and Ben. Then we have a second gap between Owen and Mortal Veloz. Whose teammate is now starting to creep up onto the back of him. Veloz will surely go into the pits. gets rid of their medium tyres he will be surely emerging on a set of fresh softs so Kep Kep on for some decent points this evening can he topple that well, well can he challenge third place third place not too far up the road he's got a nice bit of breathing space over Coleman as well the four GT lads have looked very quick this evening hasn't they? haven't they we can't can't write them off just yet they have looked like they've had pace here around St. Croix, St. Croissant, and Ramos. Ramos now back up to 6th place in that M6. 
as I say, he's having a bit of a recovery race. He got caught up in an instant, I think, early doors, which cost him a little bit, but he's kept his head in the race and he's managed to make his way back through the pack, as has Kep. So Kep also, I think, getting caught up in shenanigans early on in the race. We got, if you see him getting punted along the track and not, not entirely sure what happened there. But yeah, back up to fourth. And Ramos is back up to sixth. We've got Capel there in seventh place. He's 2.9 seconds off the back of Ramos. That has just stretched to three seconds. Bosnian Knight, though, starting to creep up onto the back of him. Only six tenths behind Capel as we speak. Will he get the run coming across the bridge? Maybe able to look for a move up the inside. As they exit the bridge, no, not quite that time round. A Bosnian Knight putting in the work in his debut. I'm not sure if this is his debut, actually. I'm going to say it's his debut, but he may have come up from one of the other tiers. I don't believe we've got RDO or anyone in the chat tonight who can possibly tell. I'm not sure. Br Brumi, are you still there? Can you tell me? Is Bosnian... Is he in a, on a debut this evening, or has he come up through another tier or is he just a stand in I'm not too sure <clears throat> definitely putting in the work in that Porsche though then we have Zico is sat in ninth place him and his teammate Gilles they favoured the overcut but it doesn't look like it's quite worked out for them it looks like Gilles may ass right but I mean no worries buddy it looks like Gilles may now be at risk of losing that place to Alan. As Alan actually loses a place to CMP, CMP manages to slide through as Alan has a slight error through turn one. And CMP is actually looking like he's found pace in this feature race. He had a bit of a shocker, didn't he, in the in the sprint. And Veloz, Veloz finding himself all the way down in 13th after that late pit. He's going to have fresher tyres than the cars around him, but... He definitely has his work out now, doesn't he? It's Jack. Jack! How's Jack down in 14th? Jack was up there with Owen, wasn't he? Oh no, it was Ben, sorry. Ben and Owen were having the battle, weren't they? Jack, Jack having a bit of a... Bit of a rough round this evening. Down in 14th, and the Maniac. And the Maniac also, he had such a great start to this feature race, but... I think he's going to write this one off. 21 seconds behind the rest of the field now. I think the only way he's going to get back into the race is if everybody has to pit once again. I don't believe they will be. There's only six minutes just under to go. Five minutes and change. So BX Royal looking like he's on for his second win of the evening. He may be doing the double here tonight in round three. That is going to cement his lead at the top of the table. Has Owen done enough though in this round to be able to move back up to maybe second or third place in the standings? I think Ramos didn't, he got second place in the sprint race, but he's currently sat in fifth. So still some decent points for Ramos, but he may lose that second place in the standings this evening, but I think he's going to come back stronger towards, well, through, throughout the remaining races of the season. As I say, only round three. I think it's is it eight in total for the GT series. I think it might be eight rounds in total for the GT series. Can't quite remember. I know it's twelve for the F1. So Ben, Ben tries he might. He's lost sight of BX now, but he has got a nice bit of breathing space over Owen behind him. He may have cemented that second place. As long as he keeps it clean, doesn't have any shenanigans. Doesn't have any moments, he should surely bring that car home in that position. Owen, Owen doing really well at the moment as well to hold on to that third place. At this point, I'd be probably trying to tell myself not to push too much, just hold on to that third place. Still some decent points on offer there. As Ramos, Ramos now up to fourth. He was sat behind Kep, wasn't he, in fifth? 
He's managed to get that move done though. He's actually got the fastest lap as well of the race so far. So an extra point on offer there. Kep. Oh, Kep on very, very, very dead tyres now. I didn't think he would get them tyres to the end of this race. He looks like he's going to try it though. I can't see him pitting once more. He's going to lose so many positions if he does. But then with with them tyres dying a bit of a death he may still lose more positions he's definitely got his work out from us and he's hold on to that fifth place it looks like Coleman actually starting to bear down on him now not that gap was coming down but oh his tyre his tyres are also very very dead will they get him through to the end of the race so Bosnia Knight sat in seventh there we've got Capel in eighth Zico is ninth We've got Gilles in temp. He's going to cover off the inside early doors coming into the final turn. Oh, no, it's turn one. CMP may be looking for the better exit, looking for the better line through there. It looks like he has got a run now. Is Gilles going to lose that position to CMP? Shows him the long way round. Gilles covering off the inside. Oh, you can't do it there. There isn't any room for you to get in front of CMP. He was alongside. But he has, he's managed to hold on to that 10th place for the minute. Oh, CMP! Definitely looked like CMP had the momentum coming through that turn. That's allowed Veloz to creep back up onto him as well. So Veloz is going to become a feature in this three-way battle for 10th place. Then we have Alan in 13th, Jack in 14th, Nemaniac in 15th. The Maniac looking like he's maybe catching Jack though, he's definitely brought that gap down hasn't he? It was 22 seconds or around there, so it's now down to 8.4, so maybe a position to be made up there for the Maniac. Meanwhile this guy here, as we're slowly approaching the final minute of this race, looking like he may have done enough to cement the double here tonight around St. Croix, St. Croix, St. Croix. St. Croissant, whatever you want to call it. And he will get through to do another lap. Is everybody else going to get through? I think they might. We've still got a minute left on the clock, so Ben, he does get through. Owen also... Ooh, oh, and BX is front front right hand tyre has died a death hopefully that isn't going to become a feature in the dying stages of this race does it like he started losing a little bit of pace so Ben still firmly in second place with Owen behind him in third oh yeah so some guys aren't going to get through to do a final lap in Bosnia night he's trying to let the timer run down he doesn't want to do another lap so Bosnia night finishes in 13th place we're going to have Jack Jack will finish in 14th and he crossed the line he finishes there in 14th place and the Maniac he'll bring home 15th and then we'll go back on board with this guy here in fact, is there any battles going on on track at the moment? So Ben there in second, Owen in third, Ramos is cemented fourth place, Kep is there in fifth. Kep still holding on to that fifth place. Go on, Kep. Is he going to be able to keep it, though? Because Coleman is looking quick in that Ford GT. Capel, yeah, so there. Oh, in fact, more Velos, more Velos getting a move done there on Gilles, finally. Can he get past CMP as well? CMP defending really well there. He wants to hold on to that ninth place, but is he going to lose it anyway? And Venos looking like he's got the pace advantage. He's definitely got a tyre advantage. Right, we're going to have to go on board with our race leader because he is coming up to the final turn. So they didn't manage to make it through to lap 20, but they will finish on lap 19. And here he goes, he's managed to do enough to do the double, he takes the double win here this evening, that's going to cement his lead at the top of the standings.
BX Royal takes first place. Ben and Ben and Owen. Owen manages to steal second place away from Ben right at the end there. So Ben coming in third place. Ramos fourth. Kep. Kep's going to finish in fifth. And then we've got a battle between Capel and Coleman in the background there. But Capel comes home sixth. Coleman seventh. Zico in eighth. Veloz, he managed to get past CMP at the end there. Ninth place for Veloz. Oh, and Gilles. Gilles takes 10th away from CMP at the end. So Gilles 10th, CMP 11th. Alan will bring it home in 12th. The Mayor Bosnia in 13th. Jack in 14th. And the Maniac in 15th. Well, that was round three, guys. And what a round that was. GG's BX. Absolutely dominating once again. Ramos, though, I think he's going to be hot on his heels still in the standings and well you saw what pace uh, Ramos has had so bit of a recovery race though in that second one for Ramos I think him and uh, Kep both having a tangling with someone towards the early stages of that race lap one or two I think it was both of them getting spun round Kep getting punted along the track but yeah what, what, what a race that was guys Anyway, that was it. That was it for the stream this evening. That was it for the racing. I'll be back with you once again next week. I've been your boy Vex. This has been Area League Racing's Tier 1 Drivers, and I will see you again. Good night.